Male and female fitness content across all platforms is very different. But why? Is it because men and women want to achieve different things? Is it because they have to train differently? Is it because they physically cannot do the other sex's workout? Well, I wanted to look into this further because being a female that's into strength training, I was really struggling to find female fitness influencers to be inspired by, to watch, because a lot of strength training videos are done by men. But why, why is this happening? I looked into it a little bit further and I thought I need to make a video on this. First of all, let's look at the different pieces of content they're making and look at the differences. Of course, there are some influencers that are breaking these trends, that are breaking these stereotypes, but I'm talking about the majority. So a lot of the time what we're seeing from, from female fitness influencers is a lot of cardio-based content, a lot of content focused on the lower body, focused on getting abs, getting toned. But for men, we're seeing a lot of strength training, a lot of things in the gym, a lot of content which is focused on the upper body. So why is this? Why are we seeing these massive differences in content? Well, the first thing is, what these sexes want to achieve. Of course, we're both human and we all have different needs, different wants. We all have a different body and we want to achieve different things from it. However, due to societal norms, societal pressures, we're finding that women are wanting an hourglass figure. So a smaller waist, a bigger bum, a toned body. Whereas men want to be bigger and musclier. Men are attracted to women with smaller waists. And with nearly 98% of women being straight, they probably want men to be attracted to them. So that could be another thing which is really pushing them to focus on that aesthetic, that physique, which is completely fair enough. However, fitness influencers are capitalizing on this. They're seeing what you want to achieve and making content specific to it. So one word which is used far too often is toned. This is the idea that women can stay small, have a little bit of muscle, but not look bulky. This is a huge myth in fitness, and the myth is that if women lift weights, they get bulky. If it was that easy to get bulky, they would be bulky. If women lift weights, you are more likely to get that toned look that you want rather than just doing cardio every day. So we're seeing female fitness influencers putting out things that are focused on abs, bum, cardio and hit and things like that because they know that's the body you want to achieve and like this isn't just me saying it it's actually fact you can see it in the views and the engagement on these videos if you search now how to get bigger muscles as a woman and compare the views on how to get a big bum as a woman it's quite clear what women are clicking they would prefer to have a bigger bum to have an hourglass figure that's completely fine but it doesn't mean you just have to focus on those things if you saw my last video talking about how to get abs you'll see that i'm talking about not just doing ab training every single day and this is the same with everything i'm talking about if you want a bigger bum if you want that toned look you can't just do videos where you're just focusing on that one thing so you're probably thinking you're saying that I can lift weights and I can do strength training and I won't get bulky, I'll get that toned look that I want. So surely I can do videos that men are making. Yes, women can do a man's workout and a man can do a woman's workout because there isn't any difference. There are only really small hormone differences between men and women. And that's the only thing that you should be thinking about and know about when going into training. Men have 10 to 15 times more testosterone than women, and this does help with muscle growth. However, women have a sex hormone called estrogen. And estrogen helps with recovery time. So women can quite often do more reps, more sets in a workout, and do more workouts in a week. So you have these different hormones and that means that your training can be slightly different there, but you're probably thinking, why do we look so different? If I did the exact same workout as a man, why would I potentially not look like him? Well, of course, if you've seen any of my videos, I talk about genetics. Your genes have a big impact on what your body looks like to start with and also once you start training as well. But another thing is the starting point. On average, women start their fitness journey a lot smaller. So literally in puberty, you have less muscle mass and you've got a higher body fat percentage than men. So you're starting at a different point to them. But studies show that men and women build muscle at the same rate, especially in those early stages. So what are the main takeaways? Follow whatever fitness influencer you like. It doesn't matter what their gender. As long as you like them, you trust them, they're giving out good advice. Follow whatever influencer you like. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, make sure to subscribe and if you have, anything to say on this matter whatsoever, whether you think I'm an absolute idiot or whether you think that my content is gold, make sure to comment below and I'll see you in the next one.